Welcome to our first lesson about using cameras in Inventor Studio. Let's activate Inventor Studio. Now right-click on Cameras in the browser. Let's select Create Camera from View. Let's take a home view from the View Cube. And right-click on Camera 1, our new camera. Select Set View to Camera. Let's right-click on Camera 1 now and select Edit. First, we can reset the target position by selecting with this arrow. And then we can reset the camera position. Or I can simply click on the camera in the graphic area and then manually adjust the triad position. Cancel out. Next, we've got the option to use an orthographic or a perspective projection. We've covered the difference between these two types earlier in this course. Let's work with perspective. And to see a preview, we check link to view. For now, we'll uncheck it and stick with an orthographic projection type. Roll angle. This refers to the angle of rotation around the directional axis of the camera. Let's do a demonstration. Let's say we'll enter 30 degrees and then check link to view so we can see how it works. Let's restore to zero degrees. Down here, we've got a zoom slider. This sets the zoom degree for our camera view. And let's cancel out of this dialog window. Now I'm going to right click and select Copy Camera. Let's right click on Cameras and select Paste Camera now. We can rename the camera, just give it a slow double click. Let's call it Camera 2. And we need to tab or click outside of this cell to accept that input. There we go. Now let's edit the camera, right click and select Edit. Let's change to an orthographic projection type. Now right click, set view to camera. Or if I change the position, I can just right click and then select set camera to view. Now this view is going to be linked to camera two. Let's insert one more camera. Click on camera and let's select the target. Let's say this tip. Now we select the camera position and let's check link to view. Our graphic area updates to show us this camera view. Looks good, let's click OK. Now let's click on render image. From the camera drop down menu, I'm going to select one of my new cameras, camera 3, and let's click render. Inventor processes our request, and here's our view. Let's close it. This concludes our first lesson about working with cameras.